Imam Tirmidhi rahmatullahi alayhi wa alayhi sahadith in his sunan and so do others. From Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu says, لا تزول قدم ابن آدم يوم القيامة من عند ربه من عند ربه حتى يسأل عن خمس عن عمره فيما أفناه وعن شبابه فيما أبلاه وعن ماله من أين اكتسبه وفيما أنفقه وماذا عمل فيما علم Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A man's foot will not shift from before Allah on the day of reckoning, on the day of resurrection, until he has been questioned about five things. لَا تَزُولُ قَدَمُ بْنَ آدَمَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِ A man's foot, the foot of the son of Adam, will not shift from before Allah on the day of resurrection until he has been questioned about five things. And they are, one, his age and umrih, fima abla, fima afna, his age, where did he spend or while away his age? The number two, wa'an shababih, And his youth, where did he while away his youth? Fima Abla. Number three, his wealth, where did he acquire it? Number four, how did he dispense of it? And number five, everything that he learned, how did he act on it? Did he act on it? Now, the thing that concerns us is the first two. And the surprising thing in this hadith is, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu, quoting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him, number one, about his age. So he'll be questioned about his whole life. But then, وَعَنْ shababih, He will be questioned again about his youth. Specifically. This is like accounts. Imagine you are being audited. You have a general inquiry about all of your transactions. And then the accountant pulls out a file and focuses specifically on that one particular file for a particular period in excruciating detail. Because that will be your make or your break. That will make you or break you. So on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, every one of us will be questioned in general about our whole life. But then, but then again, specifically and in great excruciating detail, we will be questioned about our youth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives, has given all of us these faculties, these abilities, these senses, this strength, this knowledge and understanding. And Allah will question us about this gift. What did you do with it? How did you spend?